Hey, good morning. Welcome back to another Black City Coffee vlog. In this video, we're gonna be roasting two orders today. So basically, I'll see it here in my phone usually. So I'll see the two orders here, and I'll see if you ordered it light, medium, or dark roasted, because you can do that now. So today, yeah, we have two, and they're going out out of state, and they're both for Vietnam. A lot of popularity coming out of Vietnam. What do you know? Because I made a lot of content on Vietnam. Um, which is really cool. I'm so glad you guys are willing to try it and be like, cool, what's Vietnam specialty coffee? Uh, for these orders, we have a light roasted, which I'm gonna start off with first. Um, and then we have a medium roasted. Okay. And I'm gonna charge this um, light roasted batch at 400. Here's the green. Source from Bodhi Coffee. It's my first roast of the day, so I'm not afraid to charge pretty high, which is 400. So our profile calls for uh, 504 for green yellow transition and then first cracks at 8.33 and then we're probably going to drop around 11.34 actually make that 10.33 okay cool we're getting there look at that nice How are you doing here? Come around 6.40. Around 6.40, 6.30 on my machine. Start going around to um, getting around to 1, 1 kPa. So something I've adjusted is um, cranking up my air right when I hear outlier cracks, uh, predicting first crack. So just getting ahead of the curve, uh, not touching my heat, but adjusting the air first. So that's been a, a significant difference in my roasting for the past like three months or so. Nice first crack. Continue on with the medium roast 
for this order and then we'll see you later for packing the orders. Okay, we're back in the packing office. It's a little dark here, um, but I wanna keep it that way. <laughs> so, um, this is my new packing table. I got the computer set up, sealer, coffee here. I'm just gonna continue and write out uh, the labels. I do everything myself. So it's literally like just hand roasted, handmade, hand everything done by me. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for uh, purchasing our coffee and trying our coffee. Um, it's really cool to be able to share um, to share this with you and the fact that I have my hands on every single thing it just feels all the more special to me you know I really dig that stuff um, and what I'm drinking right now is I think it's the last of my Peru that I roasted for myself which is just light roasted Peru Cajamarca a really good coffee as well um, I think I probably have like five pounds of it left somewhere, which I haven't made available on the store, but if you would be interested, let me know in the comments and I can make that available. I had it up there for a minute, but um, put this over here. Okay, so the first thing that I do typically, I'm still trying to get down a system for myself, but I usually allow, if I'm, if I'm gonna be shipping to somebody who's uh, say in the state of California because we roast here in Chino, Chino, California um, then I'll probably want to let it rest a little bit and then I'll ship it out because I want the customer or you guys to be able to taste uh, what it's like at its peak so I'll roast right when I get your order and then um, but for customers who are say uh, maybe midway in the in the states or maybe on the east coast um, so in the interstates or the east coast, I'm going to be not doing any rest periods because it's already going to take so many days to get to you if I'm shipping it first class. If you're just going to buy one bag of coffee, um, I can usually ship that under a pound. It's going to get out to you first class mail. So um, that typically, if we're going to east coast, max is probably going to be like five days, right? They say five days or something like that, three to five days, something like that. Um, but that's plenty of time for it to for the coffee to rest while it's shipping and then when you open it It's maybe gonna be on the fifth or sixth day. It's gonna be really good So the reason why we let coffee rest is because right after you roast it It's still pretty volatile in terms of it giving off a lot of uh, CO2 some gases some some unfavorable things um, and maybe if you taste it when it's too fresh and this is been contended back and forth. It also depends upon the bean and how, what, how you roast it, right? Um, this one, for example, we have a light roasted coffee going out um, and then a medium roasted coffee. So it all kind of is depending and if you're really going to split hairs and stuff like that. But the general consensus is um, letting coffee rest allows some of those kind of um, unwanted things to just kind of like come off the coffee first before trying it so super duper fresh like right off the roaster is usually not ideal the reason why we're tasting or maybe cupping coffees right off the roast um, is to find defects not necessarily to taste um, what the coffee has to offer the best of what the coffee has to offer uh, does that make sense okay so enough of that let's just get to packing these guys because they're gonna ship tomorrow. It's Sunday, can't ship today, but they will ship first thing on Monday. I know I'm backlit, but work with me. It's not about me, it's about the coffee, <laughs> okay? Um, so yeah, to break down our labels, and they're basically just nice stickers, um, I developed a way where I could save myself money and be economical and not waste as much paper um, in terms of my label, so. On the front label, I'll let you know whether it's light, medium, dark, whether it's wash, natural, honey, or wet hold. We haven't had any wet hold stuff so far, but I'm guessing I'm going to get around to something from Indonesia, um, probably maybe by the end of the year, but not anytime soon. But I just have that option for myself. And of course, the net weight, we have four ounces, 12 ounces, and 16 ounces. It's really rare that I'm gonna be making anything from four or 16 nowadays, just cause I know the shipping is tough on everyone if they wanted to order from Black City. So like, I was like, dude, I need to kind of just think about it from a consumer's point of view and, um, you know, ship, don't ship things so much uh, uh, as a pound, but as a, the industry standard, which is 12 ounces, which 
Now I know why everybody was doing 12 ounces. It's because it's it's just more economical in terms of shipping and um, so many more people are ordering different types of coffee online, but that shipping can be a killer and that extra five to six to $11, which I know can be like, kind of like a joy kill. Um, so, you know, that's the whole, I think that's the whole big reason by, behind the, you know, the weight stuff. Okay, so that's the front of the label. Um, if you're making your own labels, and uh, you want to be professional about it, there are certain things that you must have on there. Um, so look that up, research it. Um, I think it's different in every state. I, I get some questions on that sometimes. So in the back, um, basically I let you know where, where it's roasted. I think that was a requirement for me being in California. Um, I've got the mission, I've got the website, I've got the Instagram. I've got an easy brew guide um, for people who are wanting to try my coffee, but maybe they don't they don't have any idea, <laughs> which is really true of like most my, my close friends and family don't have any idea on how to drink um, coffee say, the right way. And I, I really just throwing that thing kind of out the door, but if you want to get into that, you know, there's something for that. There's something for you right here. I have a roasted for you on this date. So for example, today's date, uh, which I roasted today, Put that on here. Okay, and we did two, right? So, right there. And then to save myself time and money and just to be more efficient, I try to put all of the, I even missed one, but I try to put all of the most common countries of origin. So if we're, we're doing, most of the time we're doing single origin, right? Um, so with this one, it's Vietnam. So I just find my little Vietnam here and I'm gonna underline it, whoop, right? If I, have a, if I have a particular blend, I left a space for myself to write in what that particular blend was. And then at some point I was gonna do decaf for like my mom. <laughs> so I put this like, this coffee is caffeinated or decaf. Most of the time it's gonna be caffeinated, okay? And that's it, that's basically it for the back label. And I try to keep it very simple. Um, just to be more economical. You know, I really want it to look really great, but I don't have all the money in the world, so, you know, we make the bounce. Um, so the first one was gonna be light. It is washed, and we're doing 12 ounces. The second one was medium, washed, 12 ounces, okay? So, boom, I've got my labels done, and these are ready to go. Um, and um, I used to write everything from top to bottom, like the origin, the uh, elevation, everything. I used to write everything. Now it's so great, you know, um, Black City Coffee's on Shopify, that's where the store is. And so you could find all of the really like nitty gritty details on the website. Um, okay, so we have batch one here. That's my, that's my city roast. And then I have batch two right there in the back and that's my full city roast, okay? So what I do next is Usually, I will, actually, I'll keep this here. I've never talked about it before, so it feels a little odd. I just normally do it. Oh, check these out. Now we have our five pound bags, you know, say you want to order five pounds of coffee. We have that now. Okay. This tool has been amazing. Let me just, let me just frame that up for you because it's awesome. Um, there was all kinds of ways that I was doing it and it was, it was a nightmare. Okay, so we're doing 12 ounces of this and that's what we do, we just measure it out. Oops, got a little extra in there. Now I have to be exact because whoever's ordering the next city, um, Typically order, I get one of my bags. Um, I always have gloves on because of this. <laughs> All right, that's ready. And look how easy this is. So that's my city, city roast right there. 12 ounces of that. And then I have my batch two have my, I'll put, I'll throw pictures up so you can see the difference between my city and my full city. Light versus medium, okay. Oh, 
right on it. Um, I have different bins here when I do a lot, like when I'm in like in production roast mode. Um, but these were just two little orders, so very easy today. That right there just saves so much time. I don't know if you ever did all of these things yourself, you would you would kind of see. So flip this over, and we're done with that. Okay, uh, the rest of this coffee. Definitely going to um, just have some <laughs> to do this portion, this really fun part here. Sealed. And I think I'll start folding these with the valve on top because people love to like press it and smell it, you know, even though that's not particularly what it's for. Okay, so we're gonna log on to our store in Shopify. I've been doing this weird thing where I don't have coffee first thing in the morning because you know I'm trying to be healthy and I'm in my 30s now. So um, now I wait till about midday to have my first cup of coffee, which is interesting. I'm definitely, I get a lot of headaches. Um, it just goes to show how addicted my body is to it. But we're gonna make a good change. So this first guy, Thank you so much. Um, I am going to now, this is the light one, cool. I just check up everything, make sure everything is correct. And um, the setup that I have now is so much better. It used to be so hard. And um, I wasn't, I'm pretty tech savvy, but with Shopify, I wasn't. And it was like such a blow to my ego. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. Um, sweet, it's going a first class mail, and then I just print it. And there you go. We're not at that point where I'm like doing so much that I get overwhelmed, which is great, is a perfect pace for me because I wouldn't be able to handle that. The reason why I have my gloves is only when I'm packing the coffee make it kind of like a then it's necessary but I wouldn't be able to put these labels on with gloves on. so there you go and this one and he's a new customer so thank you for being a new customer and that goes in here like this in a bubble mailer with my little Black City Coffee Hiking recipe. Let me seal this guy up very nicely. Okay, and then put this guy in there. There you go. Ta-da! So that's ready to go. So pretty, right? Very pretty. Oh, also we have new low prices now that are standard, which I still feel that, you know, we can still make a profit and I don't feel bad about, um, you know, marking down our price, but I just felt with the cost of shipping being kind of kind of high and kind of pushing it over that, that comfortability of buying coffee, um, that's why we kind of came down in price. Not because there's a, a decrease in quality or anything has changed, but that I wanted more people to have access to our coffee um, and not feel so bad about once they add that shipping cost, like it, it's it's well over like $25 or something, which thank you so much for still supporting if it becomes that price. Cause I know people, you know, I mean, they, they're, we're all in a tough spot, especially nowadays. So thank you for supporting our business, um, even with shipping and paying for shipping and things like that. So, um, you know, it was a give and take. Cool, let's go to Texas. And there you go. 
And this customer said, I want it medium, so that's what I do. Oh, don't forget my little recipe. So that's typically, I usually give out two or three orders at a time. Um, and uh, I want to thank you guys for supporting what I do. I'm so blown out right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm so excited to just give you, you know, what I created um, from my heart to yours, basically. So these will go out in the mail tomorrow. And that's it. Thanks for hanging out and seeing how I go from receiving an order to packing in order to shipping it. See you next time.